Yeah. Alright guys, me and Joshua back here again on the Walker TV YouTube channel. We're going to hunt down another legendary animal. But this time we are not actually going to kill it. We're going to sedate it. Well, I, I really hope that 192 of these sedative uh, tranquilizer darts is enough. You know. Because apparently it takes quite a lot to uh, take them out. It does, really. Like, how do I focus on this? How do you fo I, I can't. I can't see because like my camera is in the way. Your camera is in the way. <laughs> yeah, like not my camera is in the way, but you know, like the. the yeah, I know. You know the, the view uh, angles all messed up. No, not the view angle. Like the yeah, the view angles all messed up because like my camera box. My camera box is down there in the in the bottom left of the screen, the bottom right of the screen. I don't know if I can change that somehow. We gotta look into that later, you know. But for now, we gotta hunt this animal. Sure. Uh, another clue. How do I, what do you push on to focus on clue? Right click. Right click, and then inspect. Okay, there we go. Hmm, looks like a dead boar. And it seems like it's a sign that it is the legendary Ikachi boar. I haven't checked, but are these things like real, real uh, animals? I have no idea. Like maybe, yes, but more likely not. Gotta look into that later. If so, then I apologize for blatantly saying that it's nothing and it's BS because. Like, uh, maybe, maybe it's not BS and these are like actually animals that exist. I read somewhere that most of the characters in the game are actually based on people in real life. Yeah, I could bet that. I believe that. Yeah, cause I mean yeah. the characters are so well built that... Oh man, oh man, that reminds me. Um, you know what happened to Tumbleweed? No, what happened to Tumbleweed? In the plague. In uh, in Red Dead Redemption One, Tumbleweed is a ghost town, like completely abandoned. Uh, but apparently, in the newspapers here, there is like saying that Armadillo won the contract for the new railroad and not Tumbleweed. So in this game, the ra new railroad is being built. Uh, it's being built. It's not finished. But once it is finished, it kills all the train traffic to Tumbleweed. And uh, it's also like kind of, kind of like funny because the sheriff in Tumbleweed, you know that uh, black gentleman. All right. Yeah. He is the absolute contrast to the Dutch. Like an an idealist that like takes it too far when it comes to believing in law and order. Uh, and as this railroad progresses, also in Red Dead Redemption 1, he becomes more and more aggressive and insane in his way of acting, acting out, right? Like that he uh, starts, you know, when you bring him down this, he has in Red Dead Redemption 1, he will just uh, execute the, the, um, the bounty target right there on the street in Tumbleweed and say, from now on, justice will be will be quick, and uh, and uh, no, no sentence will be quick, and justice will be carried out even swifter. <laughs> and that just kills it. I, I like the, the the sheriff in um, Armadillo when you see him in the first time. Yeah. What is this thing? This is huge. Woo. Holy crap. Take sample of this at least. But yeah, I love how like the when you save that sheriff in the story mode of, of um 
armadillo and he's just like, I give up, I'm done with this and walks off. Who is the sheriff in armadillo? I'm not even sure, I don't think he has a name. It's not, the, it's not the black guy. No, no, no. Some white guy, but like, well, you, 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 he's about to get killed when you see him in the first time. In the epilogue of the story mode. Yeah. Wow. And like, you save him and he's just, eventually he's just, after you save him, he's just like, fuck this shit, and walks off. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Alright. Search the train tracks for the Ikachi beer. Uh, Four. Not bear. Four. Four. Okay, I'm, uh, okay, I'm like reading it wrong. Maybe I had like one too many whiskeys. Uh, boar. Big okay. difference. Big difference. Big difference. Big difference. <laughs> well, I mean, like, the O does look quite similar to an E, you know? And the A looks quite similar to an uh, E. Well, now I see, man. You're right. You are absolutely right. Where is this thing, you know, like? It takes a long time to find this. Yeah, normally they're not this bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that is kind of like weird. What is weird? Um. Do you know who the founders of uh, Rockstar Games is? No idea. Like it's two brothers. Sam and Dan Hauser. So a big shout out to Sam and Dan for making like a really great game and stuff. I know that you haven't made this game yourself, but still big shout out. You know like they like at least like one of them uh, is like writing the entire script for the games themselves, and that is something that they really do well at. The, the stories of, of of most, especially like the Red Dead series, yeah, it's just spectacular. Yeah, it is, and like they, uh, but like their their inspiration comes from like you know that they have like both like watched a bunch of like western movies and mafia movies. Like they're, that's like they're apparently like their fan favorites. You yeah, know, when when Rockstar try when, when like a lot of games when Rockstar tries to tell a good story, they do it well. Yeah. I'm just I'm just like surprised that you know that you would take the time of the day to do it yourself when you're a freaking billionaire. When you're a freaking billionaire and the head of a company that nets over 10 billion dollars a year. It's like Elon Musk as well. Yeah. Like, uh, because like it, it kind of like shows that their passion isn't just about the money, it is like actually about doing something. Because there is tons of people that would have just taken the money and, uh, and ran, you know. Hello, what if we got chef? Hello. Wow! Oh! <laughs> Holy crap, man! That's one dangerous boar. Suppose we gotta help this guy because we are not slow as slow as motherfucking Jed in Saw Free. I'm gonna take out the poachers if you. Uh, Take out the bear and boar. There, poachers took it out. Then we had two ones to boar. Take that out. Are we killing this? No, we're tranquilizing this, right? Yeah, that's what we said. We're tranquilizing the, the boar, right? Yep. Which is why uh, it's not down yet. Yeah. And it's done. It's down. Here it is. Legendary boar. Down for the count. You know it. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Take samples. 
All right, mission passed. Legendary Ikachi Boar Sample Retrieved. All right. Pretty cool. All right, thanks for tuning in for this episode of RDR2 on the air with Patrick and Joshua on the YouTube channel Walker. Thanks. Until next time. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, or I'm going to sedate your ass. Thank you.